Everybody's got an opinion. Every Californian and Virginian. It's so hard to tell who to trust and who to ignore. Someone's got to settle the score. Trey and Chelsea will help you choose. Whose views win? Which ones lose? Online haters are coming for you. Baby, it's time to review the review. Hi. Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to Review That Review, the podcast dedicated to reviewing reviews. We're just like Siskel and Ebert, only instead of reviewing cinematic masterpieces, we rate and review those hilarious, scathing, and sometimes suspicious online reviews. That's Chelsea Dawn. And that's Trey Gerald. And together, we're the Review Queens. <laughs> Chelsea girl, how's your week yeah. been? Ah, my week has been so good. I love the summer. I missed the summer so much last year. I just feel like the summer is when I get to see my friends and do things. And I just feel so grateful that I got to do things. I went to the pool. I went to the Hollywood Bowl, which was like a little bit of a nightmare, you know, parking, parking. as it always is. Mm -hmm. I'll get into that more later, but it was just so, <laughs> it was just so fun and so nice to be around friends and I just love the summer. How about you? How was your week? I am great. I'm doing good. My week has been very alive and bolsterous and um, I fell asleep yesterday taking a nap in the middle of the day and Hunter, the new puppy, was curled up in my armpit and David Aww. took a picture and it was so cute. Oh, that's so, I'm getting a puppy on Wednesday. I can't even believe it. Two days I, away. I'm just felling for you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Um, well, you know, we can't always be our best Brene Brown, you know, meditative selves. Sometimes we have opinions about things too, that we're a little upset about. And with that in mind, that brings us to Lodge a Complaint. I want to hear about this parking at the Hollywood Bowl, which I'm inferring is going to be a complaint. I mean, we can. Yeah, we can. We actually I think the parking in the Hollywood Bowl is going to actually come up with my royal highness a little bit later. Oh, my God. OK, so, OK, OK. Please, this please is... lead yourself. I, I want to hear everything. OK, well. I'm just going to complain today about how I don't know if this is a California thing or if this is an everywhere thing, but people do not use turn signals here. <laughs> it's not a thing that people it's optional, like the directional is something that I don't know if they don't teach it in driving school here or people are just completely reckless, but they do not use turn signals which was a little bit of a problem when I was heading to the Hollywood Bowl and people were just kind of cutting me off because you just make your own rules when you're going to a venue. And it would have been helpful. Like, luckily, I'm a defensive driver, so I can handle it. But it's rude. I mean, it's a lot of, like, strain and tension on your fingers and wrists to have to, like, knock the little handle <sighs> up and down to turn signal, you know? I mean, I turn signal when I'm turning into like my own driveway. Like I, I am an over user when it comes to the turn signal, because why not be cautious? I don't, I just, I really don't think you think it's effort. No, I was being facetious. Okay. You're being facetious. Thank God. I no, mean, I'm, a, I'm an overturn signaler as okay. well. Yeah. I just, I don't understand. And what's funny is I remember I was, I was telling this to a friend one time in LA and she was like, no, I've had the opposite experience. Like I wasn't using my turn signal in a parking lot. And this guy followed me around the entire parking lot and then finally yelled at me for not using my turn signal inside of a parking lot, which I thought was excessive. And I, I felt bad because I was like, mm, I'm not like I wouldn't chase you down to tell you you've done wrong, but I, I get it. Like we should just just use it. Why wouldn't we use it? Well, that's the real question here. Why would you not do it? Yeah. So I'm lodging a complaint against people that don't use turn signals officially. Complaint lodged, girl. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to get off your chest today, Trey? Yeah. Today's complaint that I'm lodging, I don't know how it has taken me this long 
to lodge this complaint because okay. this is on the tippy, tippy, tippy top of things that will literally turn me from cool and collected <laughs> to maleficent. Okay. When people push send on text messages, when they mean to put a period or an exclamation point or a comma, don't send me 17 text messages in a row when it could be <laughs> one paragraph. I don't know why you're chuckling because I'm actually so mad. It makes me furious. I, it, if there was a collection of the most common <laughs> infuriation points in my life, like if there was like a Venn diagram, mm -hmm. it would be screaming to David that someone has texted me three times in a row, especially when you're driving and you're trying to use ways. Yes. And then someone's like, oh my gosh, bling. I meant to tell you bling. The other day I went to bling. Sorry, autocorrect bling. Ducking me bling. It's like Jesus ah. Christ. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny about this. That's I am funny. literally enraged. It makes me feel, you think that my day, I, I have enough time in my day for you to send me 16 text messages when it could just be a paragraph. Oh my God, I, it makes me angry. If you have my number and you text me and you're guilty of this, please stop, please. I ha cannot take it. Oh my God. I'm I just turned into my mom. When my mom gets mad, she turns into a chihuahua. And I literally just heard myself do that. It, I just oh. I just love how impassioned you are about that. But, but I mean, I'm not playing up for a fact. I know. It makes me so mad. This is a genuine, this is a genuine problem. I get it. Like I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm on a group text and like my sister, you know, sometimes will send multiple texts and then all of a sudden you look down and you're like, I have 68 text messages. Like, <laughs> how is that possible? Um, yeah, I've left a bunch of group texts because yeah, that's group texts just... are the yeah group texts like returning to a group text and then seeing you have anything in the high double digits, God forbid a triple digit, it's happened. It's very anxiety inducing. So I I feel you. I also don't really understand that. I think it's like people are just not thinking. They're just like, let me just continue to text. They don't realize that it's like da ding da ding da ding or like I mean if you... your ways. If you were a texter like that, this podcast wouldn't be happening. <laughs> I, I, I'm a paragraph texter, honestly. I, Which I, I appreciate. That's never overwhelming yeah. to me. I mean, unless Sometimes. you're a crazy person. Have you ever gotten a crazy long text from someone and it says see more and you have to open it, its own screen? Oh, that I don't think I've ever seen. That, that we, yeah, I know someone who does that. There's stuff oh. going on there for them. But <laughs> when you get a text from them, it's so long that wow. it, at the bottom it says see more and you have to click it and a whole new screen pops up yeah and that's that's why it's like it's it's got to be a healthy balance right because like yeah if i'm looking at my phone to read a text and it's too long and i just wanted to do a quick looky you I'm know before that. i had an appointment i'm not reading that which no. i had a good friend of mine actually my friend adria taught me this trick which is like very helpful if anyone doesn't know it or maybe everybody knows it and i'm just the only one did you know you can pin a tech oh you did oh wait okay like you a can person? pin you can pin a text message so it like stays at the top. Cause I always like, I can't, you can't make a text message unread so you know to respond, but you can pin it so that it sits at the top and like, it just sits there until you decide to unpin it. How? So if you're on your text messages. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. If anyone's listening and this is as helpful. On I, an iPhone. I, on an iPhone. If you're opening the messages app. Yeah, I'm on yours. Okay. Oh wait, no, go back to like where it's the list of all the people, the list of like, all, yeah. And then kind of like hold down and scroll your finger Pen. to the right. Oh my God. And then you just press that. And then it puts, you say how it like puts it at the top. Wow, I never knew that. You can also mute people. Yes, you can do that. But the pinning is very nice. Cause it's like, sometimes if somebody does send a really long text I'm like, oh, I don't have time to read that right now. I gotta get back to that. I'll get, I'm going to pin you. I'm going to put a pin in you until later. And with that in mind, oh, I feel better. And thank you for teaching me something. And um, please never text me multiple times in a row. Right. Even if you think it's funny, I'm not being comical. 
Oh, okay. All I right. gotta exhale on that. I've Ooh, been girl. warned. I feel like this is something that you should. I mean, I get it. Like it's annoying, but I, but I'm noticing that like this annoys you to such a degree that I think this should be like you should have a boundaries, you know, boundary <sighs> boss, non negotiable list <sighs> that you pass along. It should be on your business cards. Like, don't even try it. Not it should just before. be, it should be a saved text response that when someone's yeah. doing it, I can just, sorry, Trey's unavailable because you've enraged him. Please do not <laughs> send multiple texts. Maybe yeah. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, exhale. Great. I feel better. All right. And let's just allow other people to feel as good as we do and, or honor, honor their experience in, in releasing their complaints and hear some other people's written complaints. What do you think? <laughs> is that long-winded? Will you just say that again? Cause it was <laughs> funny. What do I say? I don't know, but it just felt like it went in a circle. <laughs> it did. Okay. And, <laughs> and I'm, it's funny. I'm not being made to you. It was okay. Funny. It, oh. it, I, it was a long way around. Okay, so in honor of releasing complaints out into the world, I think we should let some other people's complaints fly. And with that in mind, take it away, Trey. What are we doing today? All right, so as you all know, Chelsea and I are your trusty review queens. We bring you, we bring you reviews from the internet. And we dissect the nitty gritty. And then we rate them on a scale from one to five crowns. It is a very regal process called... Assess that kvetch. All right. So who goes first today? Wait, Queen. Did you know <laughs> that today is another special edition episode? I just channeled Oprah so hard. <laughs> Love you, Oprah. But it is. It's a special edition episode. What does that mean? Did you hear the dogs barking just then? I mean, just like momentarily, but it was not anything distracting. Do you want me to go back? No, no, no. Um. Oh my gosh, it's another special edition epi! Uh, that means that today, Chelsea and I are both covering a one and a five star review on the same top top. That I love all these abbreviations <laughs> that you come up with. I hope people listening to them appreciate them as much as I do. Okay, that's right. For this versus episode, I selected the one star and Trey selected the five star review. So to determine who reads first, we're going to flip that quarter and we'll announce the winner. So I think the last time I called in the, in the air. Yeah. So, oh, so should I? Should I be flipping today? I mean, I can flip it and then just call it. You'll do a flip and a call. So I hope you can rub your stomach and tap your head at the same time. Here we go. I actually can, but okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say tails. Call it in there. You said tails. Oh my God. It is tails. It's tails. Okay. So this is unusual because now I actually like that you won. I was hoping you would. Oh, good, we're going to okay. get to hear the five-star review before we hear the one-star review, which we've never done before. I'm really so, glad that you are glad about this because instantly when I saw that it was tails, I felt regretful that I won. So I'm glad that you're glad. Oh, I'm thrilled. I think I'm very curious what happens when we when we do this in reverse, because why not start with the positive and go from there? So and, and end on the horrifying. <laughs> All right, girl. Well, I'm ready to review that review. How about Let's you? Do it. I'm so ready. Review that review. All right, so today, Chelsea Dawn and Trey Gerald have chosen to cover a one-star and a five-star review of a place in Los Angeles. It is uh, called, <laughs> it is called Cryo Healthcare. Yes. And I am going to read you this five-star review from Alessandra. D. Okay. And this is from Yelp. Okay. So this review was written on April 28th, 2017. Mm, okay. Update May 6th, 2017. It's now been two weeks since my accident with my hand. 
and I am astounded. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that tickled me too. Okay. Oh, I'm in a silly mood. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's I can't not look funny. at you. It's, it's not, not that funny. funny. It's not okay, funny. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. All right, right. We should honor Alessandra and her hand. Yeah, okay. I'm why sorry. Why are we laughing at her? I'm sorry. I'm not laughing. Oh, it's, she's I, the five star. Okay. Okay. She's, a, <laughs> okay. she's the five star. Okay. Right. All right. <clears throat> okay. I don't. I just have the giggles. It's not even about That's Alessandra. Day. Okay. Okay. It's now been two weeks since my. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I can't do it. <laughs> no. What am I gonna do? Fine. You're gonna do it. Okay. Pretend like you're Meryl and go. Oh, that's good. Okay. okay. It's now been two weeks since my accident with my hand. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. I'm literally covering the screen so I can't see you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cover me. Okay. Update. May 6th, 2017. It's now been two weeks since my accident with my hand. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And they're here right now, of course. <laughs> I don't know why. You can hear the dogs now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hunter's learning to bark and it's really annoying. <laughs> this is going to be crazy content for the Patreon because we're releasing unedited full recordings oh no, for are. our Patreons. And um, oh God bless this us. is going to be, <laughs> it's just <laughs> such a good first sentence. Oh, geez. Okay. Let me open the door. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. So let's just get serious. Let's just... I was trying to answer. I'm going to also channel Meryl. Okay. I'm going to be a really good scene partner. Try it. <laughs> um, will you just like, maybe will you mute at the, just so I can get past I'll the mute. hand? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you snicker and it made me laugh. I'm sorry. All right. I'm muting. I'm muting. I'm muting. Okay. 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 All right, and I've covered Chelsea, so I can't see her. Okay. <clears throat> so this is Alessandra D. This review was posted April 28th, 2017, and this is the beginning. Update. May 6th, 2017. It's now been two. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Okay. I just have to get, this is a long review. I have to get through it. Okay. It's now been two weeks since my accident with my hand, and I am astounded by how much better I am. I have continued going to get the local cryotherapy concentrated on my hand, and the swelling continues to go down, and my mobility and ability to bend my fingers increase. Thank God. The last two times they tried a new machine on me in addition to the cryo. And that seems to be helping as well. It's called Saluma. Parentheses. No clue how to spell it. It's like this light therapy that has healing agents. And I've noticed when I do the right af. Sorry, will you unmute? Because now I feel like I've like punished you. I want to hear you like oh. responding. Okay, sorry. Okay, yes, I'm unmuted. And and I also stopped because I messed up. Okay. Okay. It's like this light therapy that has healing agents. And I've noticed when I do that right after the cryo, it warms me back up. And the next morning, my hand feels a vast improvement. Smiley face. I am happy. I'm not done though. I still have a long road ahead of me. I'm not done though. Dash. I still have a long road ahead of me but hopefully it will be shortened. Stay tuned, dot, 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 enter. I never believed in quote unquote gimmicky type stuff, but man, has this place changed my life. 
I crushed my two fingers in a heavy car door. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We've all been there, Alessandra. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm <laughs> Okay, Alessandra D, come on. I've done I've literally done this, so it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> I never believed in quote unquote gimmicky type stuff, but man has this place changed my life. I crushed my <laughs> it's just the visual. I crushed my two fingers in a heavy car door last Saturday. The pain was unbearable and indescribable, as you can imagine. My fingers were swollen. Half, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, okay. No, no, oh, no. <clears throat> what is that? Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> My fingers were swollen, half numb, half throbbing, and on there was to turning black. Oh, and on there was to turning black, purple, and blue. I went straight to the ER of Cedars Sinai Hospital, and they said the only thing that I can do it, ice it, constantly and take painkillers. One of the doctors suggested I try cryotherapy. I gave it a shot. They basically told me that this localized cryotherapy machine that has a wand and concentrate on a specific body part will be like I have iced my hand for 24 hours that day, as opposed to 10 minutes with the machine. After my first visit, after my first visit, the swelling subsided and I felt a bit better. After my second treatment, I took my splint off. The swelling is even less and I can move my fingers again, five exclamation marks. It's unreal. The cool air accelerated the healing process so much. I am in awe. And when I went, and when I went to, and when I went to, they suggested that I try this other machine called the Beamer or Beamer. And it looks like a padded yoga mat that has an electromagnetic field that is supposed to improve circulation and help heal the body and bruising. All I have to say is, wow, not sure which one did which or if the combo of the two machines did the trick, but my finger is so much better. After only two visits, I am going to continue and see how quickly I can finish the recovery process. The hand specialist who saw me yesterday and last sat the day of the accident was shocked at my progress. Woo hoo! Enter. Unrelated dash. And I decided to get a B12 shot just to try it, dash. I didn't think of, I didn't, dash. I didn't feel a think in my butt cheek. And I had a crazy amount of energy, dash. Loved it, smiley face. I've never had <laughs> such a hard time getting through a review. Wow, there were a lot of misspellings randomly. Yes. <clears throat> I noticed that. And first of all, I'd like to say, I'm sorry, Alessandra, that I was laughing. Like, I actually really, really feel your pain. I have an injury in one of my fingers. I think I might have even talked about it on a previous episode where it's like, it's just hurt so bad. So now after hearing this, like, I honestly might be inspired to go over to cryotherapy because if it helps, I mean, yes. I do, I do also just want to say, I felt myself turning into a valley girl and reading that. I think mm -hmm. maybe from the like, woohoo, and the smiley face. Um, but I actually picked this review because I am a person who has no idea what cryotherapy is. Um, and I appreciated that Alessandra D 
uh, is coming from a place of like, I don't know what this is, but oh my God, is it helping? So <clears throat> I just want to clarify, like I'm not meaning to poke fun at them in this interpretation that I gave because uh, <laughs> they are as clueless about it as I am. So I, I it, is, it is funny to me that, um, <laughs> that uh, Alice, Alessandra D., Mm -hmm. says that the pain was unbearable and indescribable, but then continues to try to describe, describe it. I know it was funny. I don't know why, like I got this feeling when you were reading it, it felt very like diary entry to me, especially when we got to the point where she was like, I am happy. I'm not through though. You know what I mean? Like, it just seemed like something I've written. I would have like written to myself in a in a diary. I mean, it feels to me like Alessandra D is my girlfriend. We're at brunch. She yes. like has her hand up because you mm -hmm. can't lay it flat or else the circulation doesn't work. True. And we have mimosas and she's like, Trey, you have got to try this crazy thing. I know it's very LA, but like, girl, my hand is like recovering. This is crazy. Like totally. that's the feeling I have, you know? And she <clears> even <throat> says in her update, she ends the update with stay tuned, da, da, da. Like it is a journal entry. She's right. she's like, um, this is her YouTube series yeah. of the progress. Exactly. And then I had a question about that because I know that this was <clears throat> an updated review. So like which part of it was updated? Like we wrote that the, the first part and then the second part that you were reading was app opposite. Yep. See, I tried to read it how it is presented here. So right. um, the update is just the very beginning about uh, like the original review was, I never believed in gimmicky type okay. stuff. And then Got the update it. was, hey, it's been two weeks and everything's I great. See. That makes sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Um, <clears throat> I think what's what sort of tickles me is that obviously Alessandra was having quite a few problems with spelling and grammar and that kind of stuff, but she kept referencing it back to herself. Like she would write like Saluma, like no clue how to spell it or like <laughs> Beamer or Beamer, which I'm assuming was like multiple spellings of that word. So I feel like Alessandra like was just someone in school that didn't do great on the spelling. So she wanted to be like, I know it might be wrong, but like, you get it. You get what I'm saying. Well, that's also funny to me because it's like, you're writing this on the internet. So you could probably Google Saluma. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, Maybe do you she's wanna... typing it on her phone and also like her hand is, you know. Oh, that's true, the... right. She only has one functioning hand. She Wait, only has so one functioning hand. do you want to guess the two different ways that Alessandra D spelled Beamer? Yeah, I can. Um, I will. I would like to guess. So I'm going to guess one way was B-E-E-M-E-R. And then the yes. second way was B-E-A-M-E-R. No. So the first one oh. is yes. But then the okay. parenthetical is B-E-M-E-R. Bemer? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well. I will <clears throat> tell you that this review, I, I find to be incredibly valuable. This is like I think Alessandra D has spoken to me because I literally don't know what cryotherapy is. So I do feel like I am relating to Alessandra in this review because Alessandra's like, I don't like Emma key stuff. I get that everything becomes a fad and it's sort of like, what's really helping, you know, it's like wheat bread is better. And then it's suddenly like wheat right. bread isn't better and like whatever. So I appreciate that. I actually appreciate that it is a journal entry. Mm -hmm. um, and also like, I think it's hilarious and entertaining that it ends with, this is unrelated, but I did get a B12 shot. I felt right. nothing in my butt, um, <laughs> yeah. but I have a lot of energy because I've considered getting a B12 shot and I haven't, um, but that also was a misspelling. It says, I didn't feel a think. Yes, I heard the think. A K instead of a G. Yes, I did notice that. Yeah, I, I appreciated that Alessandra explains, <clears throat> so, sorry, wow. I appreciated that Alessandra explained several of the machines to us. I felt like through her experience, I like even when I first looked this up, I didn't realize that there was going to be multiple machines. I thought it was just going to be traditional cryotherapy, which I've always imagined to you just like walk into this, I don't freezer. know, like freezer good way of putting it. You, you walk into a freezer that your head sticks out of and that's it. And I liked knowing that this place had an, a localized option for cryo, which feels, <clears throat> excuse me, which feels a lot more um, tolerable 
you know, so if I was somebody like, I mean, I am somebody who is sort of afraid to do cryo because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'd want to be in a torture chamber for that long. Free, I don't like being cold. That's why I moved to California. Like, <laughs> if I was having these fears and I read this review, I might think like, oh, it's not just the image of what I thought it was. It can be so many other things. And it seems like this particular place they do use different modalities and they have the B12 as well. So it seems like more of a holistic approach than just we're, we just rent out these machines and that's it. And uh, how I received that information was I'm going to want to purchase add-ons. If I am buying a half hour slot to do this cryotherapy machine, they're going to be like, oh, we have these add-ons, like you can do this machine mm. or this machine. So like go in expecting that I'm going to probably be enticed to drop a little more money. Like when you go to a nail salon and they're right. like, oh, do you want to do the charcoal bath for your feet? And you're like, well, or they're like, no. do you want to do the callus remover? And you're like, no. And then they look at you like, you want to just leave yeah. that on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, I guess, I guess, yes, Cal's River. So do you um, think that, do you think Alessandro is like a planted review? Do you think this is like no. a relative of the owner or do you think this is real? I think if it were a relative, I mean, I know we usually take points away for spelling and grammar and I still might, but I feel like if this were a relative or somebody involved, they would have like passed it around. That is so astute. Oh my God. I, I totally agree with you with that. Right. Like it's like, it was so, it was unpolished in a way that feels authentic. Yeah. And there, there does seem to be a, a lack of self-awareness to like a, a delightful yeah. area with Alessandra D like, I get a totally bubbly sens sensibility about them and um, and their uh, comfortability with being authentic about like, I was ignorant to this, um, but oh my gosh, it's helping and I'll keep you updated. Like, yeah, it, and I can it feels see, truthful. I can see someone like if they experience something painful and like we said, we were kind of laughing because I, I don't know, we have the giggles, but like um, everybody has had that experience or so many of us have had that experience where we lock our, we close the car mm. on our door hand and, oh, it's the worst. And like, I'm literally still dealing with pain right now from repeatedly doing that over and over again. So I think it's very relatable and I can see that Alessandra would be a real person. That's like, oh my God, I found something that fixes an issue that maybe other people have. And so I'm empowered uh, to tell people about it. I agree. <clears throat> okay. I mean, the humor Was here. Was there anything specific in the, in Alessandra's review about any of the therapists that she worked with or anything like that? Did she speak other than giving us the examples of the machines that she talked about? She didn't know. She, I'm wondering, or, I'm wondering if this like is a that. leading question for the one star. I'm curious, but no, there is nothing said about anyone specifically at the location. Okay. Or like cost or anything like that. They didn't comment on. No, but it does occur to me that Alessandra D like had a high bill. Like you're saying that with just doing mathematics right now between you and I, all the services that she's getting seem like they're expensive. And she's getting, and that Alessandra is getting so many of them. Right. Right. Okay. So it doesn't seem like the, the financial aspect is as big of a, um, you know, a concern for Alessandra because she's so happy to be able to have something to help her. Either finances aren't that much of an issue or it's like, this is literally her health. This is literally right. Alessandra's health. There's no price. Like, There's no right. price tag. Because it does seem, it does seem at least in this two week span of the update mm -hmm. that it really is shortening the recovery period. Um, which was yeah, referred even, to her by a doctor. Yeah, even the hand specialist was like, wow, this is amazing. So right. I think Alessandra did a good job. I feel like I'm ready to crown. How about you? Yes, I, I want to say the humor level of this. Yes. I, I literally thought nothing would ever top <laughs> your review. The gi Yeah, I know. But the gigantic this, ball. Uh, but but um, I... I just, I think that starting, like, I just think that the first starting a review with, it's now been two weeks since my accident, <laughs> is like, it's just like, it sounds like a soap, like, it's just so delectable. 
yeah um, that I can't even, it's just get makes me giggle same oh, obviously oh but I I don't know I I don't know if that's just like us like that we thought that that was funny but either way thoroughly entertained by Alessandra yes and I will say like the I I think like the impact of her of Alessandra's review is that I uh it's just someone else that is sort of saying that this is helpful I have yeah. the experience of this helping me so if you feel like it's a gimmick consider that it's not like right. I am and yeah. so it makes me feel like when I go and visit you in LA I want to go and try this I think we should definitely go all right not an ad to, not an ad you ready to crown I'm ready okay so Chelsea and I each have our own set of one to twelve what Okay, so Chelsea and I each have our own set of one to five crown cards, and in an effort to be fair and not influenced by one another, we will simultaneously reveal our rating. The queens are tabulating. Hmm, how do I want to do this? All right, are you ready, Trey? Oh, um, yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Yeah. You? I'm ready. Yes, okay. I'm ready. Total score. Okay, so I'm holding up four crowns and Trey is holding up four and a half crowns, which I also was tempted to do the half crown. So I, I understand the impulse, but um, I'll let you go first. Tell us why you gave four and a half crowns. Well, I, I part of this is unfair, but I do want to reserve the five for like outrageous ones. Yes. And um, but, you know, so I'm giving four and a half to Alessandra D because it really told a story. It really was entertaining. I really felt like Alessandra D put me in their shoes. Mm -hmm. And so therefore I did find it to be authentic and truthful. I do believe that it is a real person um, just from their shock and dismay. Um, and it actually makes me want to go. Like, I don't know that I would ever desire going into a freezing cold place, but Alessandra D has sold me. And so I gave Alessandra D's five-star review, four and a half crowns. Yeah. What about you? I think that's totally fair. I gave four for a similar reason. I love when reviewers really can put me in their shoes and take me through their experience. And I, Trey is not <laughs> able to get a straw into his mouth. Um, put me in their experience and let me, um, empathize with what they're going through and see how this really impacted them in a very personal way. And I think that Alessandra did a very good job of letting us into her world in almost a diary like fashion. And I, you know, of course I got to knock some points off for spelling and grammar. And I know like sometimes listening, it's like, why do you do that? I, the way that I factor in spelling and grammar as a review queen is when you're reading something and there are a couple words that are off or things like that, I have to read it again to really understand it. So that takes a little bit more of my time just to have to understand what you are saying. So for that, I of course could not give Alessandra D the full five crowns. But other than that, I mean, if I were Alessandra D's grandmother, I think I would hang this on my fridge because I'm thrilled that she's doing better. I'm cavelling that she's sharing her experience with other people that might also um, benefit from from this. So Alessandra D, in my opinion, four crowns. Great. I love it. Thank you, Alessandra D, for your uh, perspective on cryo therapy, cryo cryo health care on. Thank you, Alessandra D, for your perspective on cryo health care. One word. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So let's take a quick break. And then we come. Why don't you say? It? I feel like I've just. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we will hear an entirely different side of the story, which I can't wait to share. Oh my God. Okay. I'm excited. All right. BRBZ. Hold your crown. We'll be right back.
Hey queens, we know it can get so annoying to constantly be asked to rate and review. We get it. Obviously, our show is all about reviews, but we're asking because it's important to us to know what you're thinking of the show. What do you love? What do you want less of? Let us know. We've made it super easy with this cute little link, lovethepodcast.com slash the review queens. It's one click away in the show description below. Who knows? Maybe yours will be selected as a royal review in an upcoming episode. Thanks in advance. And now, back to the show. Okay, so it looks like we're starting with the marital round. Okay. What? Like we're doing the merry-go-round first and then we'll, and then after here, just scroll down a little bit. Do you see it's the merry-go-round and then I have the option of um, listener voicemail section segment. Yeah. So we'll do okay. voice. We'll do this and then voicemail. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yes. It's game time. All right. It's time to take a quick little spin on the merry-go-round at your favorite mall. Oh, wrong button. I don't feel like an icon. Most of the days I feel like I can't. That's with an A. All right, here's the deal. Trey and I have each picked a rotten, scathing, pithy one-star zinger. And with 30 seconds on the clock, we will take turns trying to recite the zinger in as many genres as possible. Just like Queen Meryl, who does it all. Before the clock runs out. Okay, so I think I go first today. Mm -hmm. um, my one star zinger comes from Amazon. It is a one star review by Claudelle M. And the subject is was not a quality floaty. It is about a avocado pool float. Um, and the review is it lasted a week. And there is no punctuation, in case you were wondering. No, no punctuation, just it lasted a week. Oh, Chelsea. Okay. You okay. ready? I, I guess so. Sure. Let's do Three, it. Three, two, one, go! Sports announcer. It lasted a week! Slapstick. It lasted a week! <laughs> Mime. A courtroom drama. It lasted a week. Shakespeare. It lasted a week. Soap opera. It lasted a week. Adult film. It lasted a week. Breaking news. It lasted a week. That's all. Holy It was expletive. a short. It was a short one. And I don't- Six, seven, I, eight. Eight? Oh, that's never happened. Wow, that is a show best. Chelsea, that is, I always say good job, but wow, that is insane. I always feel like perhaps I delivered them all the same way, but I, I know, hope but that's I just because we're hard on ourselves. Okay. Well, anyway, that was awesome. Thanks for, I, we have some new genres here that we have to go through. So it, it definitely trips me up a little bit, but. Trey. I, I, I spent a long time mixing them up too. I like put them in four stacks and then I put them in three stacks and then I shuffled them. It was a lot. Okay. In case you were wondering that there's any insider, if, if, in case you were wondering if there's any insider baseball or cheating or anything happening on our ends, there's not because yeah, we shuffle. Yeah. We shuffle. I'm going sh to shuffle right now just to be sure that Trey doesn't have anything planned. Okay. Except Trey, what is Except for next week when you gave me TLC twice in a row, but whatever. Oh, yes, that's true. Except for uh, next week. <laughs> um, okay, so this week, my one-star zinger is uh, from Google Reviews. Okay. It is for the Smart Style Hair Salon in Teterboro, New Jersey. Mm, okay. And um, this is one-star review from Sam S. that says... The barber woman had a face as if customers killed her parents. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, what is a barber woman? Is a barber male? Okay, anyway. So oh, that's many like questions. a question. 
I don't know if a barber has to be male, but a barber shop is generally for men, but that's a good right. question. I don't know. A female barber. Okay. Okay. I'm ready and I'm nervous because it's not short. Okay. It's long. Yes, it is long. Okay. All right. Let's kick yeah. it off. Three, two, one. Go! Auctioneer. <laughs> Sports announcer. The barber woman had a face as if customers killed her parents. Breaking news. Oh, oh my God. Ah, the barber woman had a face as if customers killed her parents. Game show. Ah, oh, the boss barber woman had a face as if customers killed her parents. Opera diva. The barber woman had a face as if customers killed her parents. <laughs> Disney. That's all. Did I just get four? That was, you got more than four, Trey. That was really good. Yours was so long. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all right. That's like really good considering how long yours was. I had a hard time just differentiating between um, breaking news and news sportscaster and game show. Like, I didn't think that would occur, but it's fine. It's just a game. It's just a game. And if you guys have any ideas, listeners, about something that we should do, like, should we be keeping track of who wins? Should there be a punishment? I have a couple punishments in mind. If you guys have any ideas about ways for Trey and I to make this a little bit more competitive to people that are very much not competitive, um, if you have ideas for how to make us a little bit more competitive, do let us know on our voicemail. And, and if with- you have an idea for um, a genre, let us know. Yes. Too. If you have an idea for a genre, please feel free to submit those. Can you hear her barking? Yeah. I hate default. But not in a bad way. Okay. I don't think. Okay. All right. So now we're going to act as if that is not in the show. And it's now we're back from the break. Okay. Okay. Let me bring her in. Okay. If anyone on Patreon is watching this unedited, like, God bless you. What? I said, if anyone on Patreon is watching this unedited, God bless you. (laughs) Okay. All right. You ready? All right. I am ready. All right. We are back from that break. Did you leave us a review yet? I'm just wondering. (laughs) You know, we should do a drinking game on how many times the word review is said on our show. Listener voicemail. (gasps) Oh my God. Oh, it's time for another listener voicemail. Chelsea, are you excited? I'm so excited. I like always get excited and a little bit nervous, but like, I can't wait to hear it. Okay. So today's listener voicemail is from Len. Okay. It's from, is from Len. And they're going to explain everything, but don't worry. We're not going to be insulted today. Okay, great. Hey, review queens. Uh, This is Lynn R. I'm calling from NYC. And uh, I just want to get your opinion on something. I was on the um, Glossier website, which I always called Glossier until I Googled it a couple minutes ago. (laughs) And I guess I'm not French enough, you guys. Anyway, I was looking at some brow product, and then I saw this review on there, and it just sort of, like, it's just sort of made me rethink my whole philosophy on life and maybe on death. And anyway, I just want to see what what you, the review queen, think of it. So here is what the reviewer said. It's five stars out of five. The headline is, literally stayed on through getting hit by a car. (gasps) Wait, what? (laughs) Wait, what? Wait, this, okay. But they're okay, I guess. Well, we're going to find out. So a lot of um, entries on this episode. Okay, wait, so... So Lynn R. from New York found this I amazing love- five-star review on Glossier's website and wants us to, uh, wants us What's to. What's our opinion? Wants us to. Assess that kvetch. I love it. All right. So here we go. Can't so, <laughs> so the subject was this stayed on during a car wreck. Wait, that was the subject? Wow. Uh, wait to start on. St- wait, let's, let's move. I'm going to get, yeah, then? I'm going to rewind that. Yeah. yeah. He stayed on through getting hit out of five. 
the headline is literally stayed on through getting oh hit by a car. Wow, it goes on to say, hold on. I wore this to a festival, and it stayed on through infinite sweat there. After the festival, I got hit by a car on the side <gasps> of the road. And after getting pulled out from under a car and going to the <sighs> hospital, the only Stop. intact part of my makeup when I left the hospital <gasps> was this brow product. So there's that. It just really oh my God. I think 907 people found this helpful, by the way. Oh, my and God. And I, uh, I bought it. I bought, I bought the product. So anyway, let oh. me know what you think. Of Bye, Review Queens. Thanks. Okay. Lynn okay. R coming Lin R. through. I want to talk about Lynn R for a second because, like, you ever hear someone's voice and you're like, "Ooh, like I kind of I want to be friends with Lynn R immediately." Just Lynn R, hit me up. We should be friends. You're amazing. Also, thank you for calling in with a review for us to assess. That's a first. Obsessed. Everyone needs to do this. If Every- you please. find funny, hilarious, amazing reviews, tag us. Call in and read them, like Lynn. Okay. This is insane. So this person was yes. at a festival, yeah. left and got hit, got pulled out from the car wreck, went to the hospital and the brow product. Okay. This is great. What is a brow? Okay, so how soon after the accident do you think she posted the review? Do you think she was like in the hospital? Like, like someone get me a mirror. And then she like looked and she was like, it's still there. Oh my God. Like what a humanitarian in a moment like this. I love that it had 900 likes or helpfuls. Helpfuls. I mean, and I also like that Lynn gave us that detail. That was great, Lynn. Thank you. And Lynn bought the product. And she bought it. Listen, like, I think this is quite a case for Glossier, right? Wait, 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 what, what is a brow product? I think it's like a brow. I don't know. I don't like a pen, like a tattoo thing? I think like it a, like fills in your brow. So you know? this isn't like a clear sort of like set. It's not like setting your brow. It's like probably defining it more. I think so. I would have to think that would be the case. Otherwise, like I have ones that are just sort of clear and it's making sure that everything is the right, you know, no weird hairs are sticking out. I, I would imagine that with this, we're doing more of a coloring in. And that's otherwise stayed. how, otherwise how would, I don't, who, who wrote this review? I want to address her. I name, don't know. I don't think Lynn said. I don't that. think Lynn said. So otherwise this, this, um, this person wouldn't have been able to, you know, notice. I don't think that it was still there. It must be like, have color in it. Right. I love this. Great job. First with writing this review and then Lynn for finding it, purchasing oh. from it and sharing it with us. Yeah. Well, I think that this person is a review queen. Obviously, they were successful in um, getting Lynn to buy the product. Clearly, they were convincing to hundreds of people. And oh my goodness, what what a feat to overcome, you know? And to end, to what a light, right? To like to experience something like this, to be hit by a car after a music festival. And, and to be think, pulled out from under the car. That is so scary. Oh, that was, that was quite a visual. And then also, yeah, I feel like I could, I could make the short film of this. In oh. fact, Glossier. This should be a commercial. Would, yeah. If you would like to hire Trey and I, we're happy to produce the commercial. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a full narrative. Like I really know the whole story and I feel amazing. And just my heart is just warm knowing that this person, after they experience such a tragedy is like, let me give credit where credit is due and say, even though I was in the hospital, my brows looked fabulous. I mean, I just think it's so specific that this cannot be a planted review. No, so I'm ready. Cool. I can crown it. You want to crown it? Yeah, I can crown it. Total school. I'm saying five. I mean, yeah, a very easy five crowns. And you get to share the five crowns, Lynn, because you brought yes. it to our attention. Yes. Five crowns for Lynn, five crowns for the writer of this review. I'm just so happy that you're okay and you survived and your brows still looked great even after what a like event to have to survive. So I mean, five wow. crowns. Review, queens all around. Wow. That was nice. 
All right. If you find a baller review like Lynn, or if you have a complaint to lodge, or if you want to induct someone for my Royal Highness, call in and leave us a voicemail at one eight. Call in and leave us a voicemail, 1-850-REVIEW-0. Again, that's 1-850-REVIEW-0. Operators are standing by. All right. So that was like, that was a good sort of flexing of our muscles. Thank you, Lynn, mm. for giving us that opportunity. Yes. So let's jump back into our regularly. So let's jump back into our regularly scheduled kvetch, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Review that review. All right, so we're back from the break, and it is Chelsea Dawn's turn. Tis my turn. Okay. Tis, well, tis lit my lady. Tis. After hearing all that from Alessandra, I mean, let's let's hear what Steve M has to say. Oh no. Um, Steve M is wait, I'm nervous because I what? feel like I feel like Alessandra D. Yeah. Like I feel like that's right. So now I'm really nervous to hear another side, but it's that's I'll it's okay. say this is a totally different perspective and it and it kind of focuses on a different angle element of okay. cryo healthcare entirely. So right. I don't feel like this is going to be a case where we're going to lose our trust of, of Alessandra. I feel like okay. I, in okay. case you are worried, I think Alessandra is safe. Um, she's going to be okay. But okay. Let me in. Let me in. I want to know. I want to know. We're going to hear from Stephen M. This is Stephen M's one star review, just because you mentioned it. And I didn't even really look at the time, but this was written in 2016, the end of 2016. So slightly before Alessandra visited. Um, and yeah, those were dark is, times. Those were dark times. And right. this is, but not as dark as what we dealt with last year. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this is Steve M's one star review on Yelp of Cryo Healthcare. I had direct contact with this company on the phone. And here is my personal experience with that company. I wanted to write about my experience with this business. Cryotherapy or Cryosauna is a new therapy which they use extremely low temperatures to force your body to recover faster from sport or injury. I don't want to get into details about it, but you can read about it here. And then we've inserted a Wikipedia link. So that leads me to my review of this place. I researched into nationwide prices for this therapy and found them to be similar to this chart here, insert link of uscryotherapy.com. For the most part, you would be looking at $25 a treatment, less if you bought packages of treatments. When I asked the place of review for their price list, they were offering $60 per treatment, which of note was not covered by insurance. I feel the place is grossly overcharging and taking advantage of uneducated buyers. These, mach these machines themselves are cash cows. So at $25 a treatment and a suggested treatment ratio of at least 10 to 20 treatments, you can see why. It should also be noted that this type of treatment is something suggested to be frequent and long trialed to get effective results. The second thing I found to be odd was that these treatments take place at this company's house. Trust me, I'm not one to care where treatments were taking place, but for the price of $60 on a two minute treatment, I would assume this would be at a medical facility, not a line street. And the third and final issue I had with the business was the slick marketing and Hollywood type promotion that this place gives. This therapy has been proved to actually work in any double blind studies or trials. So what that means is basically word of mouth or tests and trials paid for by the actual companies that make these machines. 
the doctor in question promotes to help Hollywood celebrities and his Los Angeles friends. But as many of you Yelpers know, those Beverly Hills doctors are more about making money and funding their lavish lifestyle than actually helping patients. This self-promotion only fuels my thinking. If one is paying an SEO company to put this propaganda out there, then it would only show they do care more about you paying them than you, than you helping them. Let me read that again. If one is paying an SEO company to put this propaganda out there, then it would only show they do care more about you paying them than you, than you helping them. All in all, I would have tried this place regardless of all these factors, but they are price gouging, unsuspecting clients. Do your research on prices and you will see. Cheers. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts? I mean, I, first of all, I didn't know you could, you could embed links in Yelp reviews. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I went on a full journey, like three different ways during this video. I mean, at first I was triggered by, I don't want to say that at first I was bothered by saying, I had, I just got off a phone call with this company. So Mm -hmm. they didn't even go and experience anything. Correct. Which just leads me down the whole conversation of, um, you know, the price at this location, maybe they're offering more facilities or more services, or I I don't know. But then, you know, it it also was, it's like funny to me that Steve, Steven, Steve, Steve, that Steve M Mm -hmm. doesn't want to get into the details. So they supply two links and then they get into the details. Just whatever. It's funny. And then but then I also think like, wow, $60 for a two minute treatment. That is crazy. I mean, that is like, that's a lot. Okay. Yes. But then to go off on this company for like promoting and like a Hollywood style when this is in Hollywood. Correct. So like, okay. <laughs> um, it seems like there's a little and bit of Steve bias. Is from Hollywood. So like, hello, but, but then I, I don't know. I, I sort of get Steve's point, but then I also feel like everything is about price gouging. What's the difference between Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts? You could argue a lot of things, but yes. like, I think Dunkin' Donuts is a little cheaper, but you're paying for the same product just differently. So if this company wants to pay more, cool. I appreciate the thought that maybe they're going after unsuspecting people, but isn't that like what everyone, I mean, I, I also had just have this red flag that this is like a competitor. I do too. I was going to say that I kept like getting this red flag. Like, is this a competitor? Because this person knows way too so much, much about cryotherapy. Like it's weird. The, the review is, it's not even really about the place. It's about it's almost like Steve showing off of look at all this research I've done about this treatment that is like amazing. And then he knocks, it's like very strange. Like first he's like, this treatment's amazing, but this is what you should be paying for it. I should know because I own the business on the straight. No, he doesn't say that, but that's what it felt like. Right. But yes, but I'm also thinking Steve is not saying anything about the actual business, which makes me think it's probably not a competitor because if you're just going after them price gouging, that's sort of a we, I mean, like, okay, great. That's a deal breaker to me, but it is also sort of like, but Steve didn't go inside. Steve doesn't know if you get complimentary cucumber water. Steve doesn't know like if there's a spa area that comes with the $60 since you're only in the machine. Like it's just about why are the prices so much steeper at this location? Like it is very humanitarian to be like, buyer beware, they're really expensive. But that is like how capitalism works. I mean, that's true. I don't know. I I just thought it was a little bit crazy that he knew so much about these machines and that they were cash out. It almost felt like to me, he was like telling someone like, listen, like buy one of these machines and like hang up your shingle and charge $25 and you can still make 
a killing. Like it was just weird. It was like he was giving us business advice. Um, he yeah, also how does like Steve know that the machines are cash cows if Steve doesn't own a competing store. Exactly. Like I don't know. I don't know how many people would know how you know like how much these machines cost, and he's linking us to like wikipedia which is just like funny because that's Hilarious. completely like unregulated and then and then the second link is for um the u.s cryotherapy.com so that that feels a bit more legit uh, and like what you can expect to, pl- to pay i i will say that okay cool like i like that he linked that so i would have some sort of idea because similar to you i've never had a treatment like this before so someone could really say anything and and i wouldn't know like is this standard i do feel like services in the hollywood area in the los angeles area do tend to be more expensive i think if you were going to a cryo health place you know in i don't know just anywhere that's not california or a major city you could probably expect that the prices would be lower but that's pretty consistent across the board so i would expect a little bit of inflation but if the average is 25 i agree like 25 to 60 is a big jump and if that's true then it's like a 2 minute treatment i also feel like well, i mean now we can talk about this because we learned but we learned that the, this is so much more than just the one machine from Alessandra, right? Right, there's so many different treatments available. And that could be a part of the, I don't know if that's part of the $60, but is part of the $60 that you, you know, get an hour or something with all the different machines? I'm not, I'm just like not sure what my $60 is paying. And I don't think that Steve does a good job of, of letting me know that either. And he seems a bit unresearched, ironically, um, in his assessment. Well, it brings me back to the idea that I got from the five-star review from Alessandra that like, I'm probably going to want other things than what I've paid for when I walk in. But this is how like, it's like any of this sort of holistic anything is usually a little more expensive than buying Advil. So like- often not covered by insurance. Often. And like, so to me, I, I actually think this is valuable. I would- it would make me take action and look at other cryotherapy locations to see if I could get cheaper. But I just got to tell you, when you go and get a massage, there is always a varying price range depending on the location. I've never thought, is that price gouging? I mean, maybe it is. Like, this is like, Steve brings up a great point here. Like do a little look, little looky loo who and yeah. see like what's going to be cheaper. And then, you know, I, you know, I actually kind of feel like even if this is like a competitor, maybe he has a point, but yeah, I know, have a I new, know. I have a new theory. There. I have a new theory that just came to me. So I just realized that like the second sentence of this is I wanted to write about my experience with this business. Um, so I, I got this like feeling like maybe Steve M is a writer, like maybe Steve M has a popular like fitness blog or something like that. And maybe Steve M contacted this place and said, you guys are a new business. I'm a writer. Why don't we get together? Maybe, maybe he was trying to get some free services from this place in exchange for writing a review and they turned him down and this is a little bit of like steve is now pissed because not only did they turn him down for free services again this is totally made up by the way but not only did they turn him down for free services but they also are charging a lot so it steve doesn't feel like it's worth the investment for him to pay for this to to like review his experience even though steve has written 194 reviews on yelp so maybe he is just that passionate about his Yelp reviewing. What do you think? This, that you, you just read stretch? an entire, entire Christmas pageant. Um, sure. Is that within the realm of possibility? Yes, it is. I think that Steve has brought to the attention that this place is charging more than other places. And for that reason, I feel like there's an impact on me. Yeah, I would say that's like the only impact because I do feel like this is one of those examples where if I'm going to like def- defend cryo healthcare for a second, 
I'm not, I'm listening, but I, I'm not fully invested because you didn't go to the place. Correct. Like compare this to what we, we had from Alessandra. It's night and day. Like, I don't feel any kind of, I feel like Steve's kind of a machine. He's just giving these facts. He's, he's spouting these links, you know, he, he's throwing, he's throwing these things around that don't feel very personal t- to Steve and also don't feel very personal to cryo healthcare outside of just the price, which is only one element of the experience. And I did ask you that, like, you know, Alessandra didn't comment on the price at all. So I wonder how she felt about that, but this reminds me of the, the fake squatty potty because it is sort of a conversation of like, you get what you pay for. And right. like, per- maybe the, ex- I mean, we don't know because Steve didn't go in the building. Correct. So we don't know if you're getting more because you're paying more. So I'm ready to crown this. I'm ready to. The Queens are tabulating. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Total score. Oh, oh, wow. So I'm holding two crowns and Trey is holding two and a half crowns. I'll go first since you went first last time. I'm giving two crowns because I don't feel like this would really impact whether or not I went to cryo healthcare. I think like you said, I'm giving them points because I would maybe research and see, is this normal pricing for the area? Is there somewhere that's cheaper? But I think I would I, if, if there were, if I was reading reviews side by side and I saw Alessandra's, you know, recovery experience versus this experience, I would definitely take Alessandra's um, information much more to heart. And for that reason, I, I gave Steven, Steve, Steve M two crowns. Why did you give two and a half? You know, I am a person, unfortunately, that sort of psychologically gets tricked when something costs more, I tend to choose the more expensive because I imagine that it's going to be better. So I'm sort of bringing that bias into this, but, you know, honestly, I feel like if you're going to go do this thing, it's going to cost money. So the fact that it's not covered by insurance is like, you know, I understand that. And like, it's, you know, maybe I, there is a little bit of impact because I would maybe want to go somewhere cheaper, but then I also don't know if I'm going to be frozen Maybe I want to like not go to the cheaper place. So I gave it two and a half because I do think that Steve brought some great points. I've had a lot of thought about this and, um, you know, but I don't think it's an ultimate deal breaker to me. And for that reason, two and a half. Yeah. Simon and Paula, you see, this is it. That's true. I'm, I'm always going to be a little bit more harsh, but I will say that something else I learned, I didn't about the embedded links. I didn't know that you could do embedded links until Stephen M presented me with that information so by by that I feel like that was worth one of my crowns alone just because obviously Stephen M takes his Yelp reviewing very seriously and he's cited resources it's really amazing all right my queen so we have reached the most regal portion of our show Chelsea Dawn who are you inducting for my royal highness Oh, thank you so much for asking, Trey. So I'm inducting my friend, Brian D. Shazer, which I don't know why that last name is harder to say, but it is D. D. Shazer, Brian D. Shazer. See, now I'm, I got it right the first time. And now that's I one word. I thought it was like D was the middle name. Brian. And then it's like one of those last names where the D is... And then I think S is capital, D is capital. That's cool. So Brian D. Shazer, basically yesterday when I went to the Hollywood Bowl with a good friend of mine, I had like an A, B, C, D, and E plan for how to park and deal with this situation. I love the Hollywood Bowl. I've gone since I've moved to LA. It's my favorite place to go. And each one of those plans failed miserably. And we were running late to the show. I was very stressed. I hate being late. And I haven't spoken to Brian in like probably years, to be honest. Like it's been a while. And 
I was just like, you know what? I'm going to call Brian because he lives in the area and I feel like maybe he's going to be able to help me out. And so I called him and the entire time the phone was ringing, I was like, please pick up, please pick up, please pick up. And then he did pick up and he delivered like over delivered on what I needed just like blind because he knows the area so well. He navigated me out of like my panic and into a parking space that I could utilize that was near ish to the bowl. Wow. And just like such a lifesaver. And I said to my friend, as we were walking from the parking space to the bowl, I was like, Oh my God, as soon as we get there, the first thing that I have to do is take a picture and send it to Brian and say, thank you so much. Um, cause we would have missed the show. We right. wouldn't have had anywhere to park. So if it weren't for Brian, I would never have been able to see cool in the gang at the Hollywood bowl. So thank you, Brian, you are my Royal Highness. And I'm so grateful for you. And I hope sometime I'm able to help you out of a jam because you really over delivered. So thank you, Brian. I love that. Thank you? you, Brian. What a yes. match. What a match, right? The biggest, the best. Love him. All right, Trey, who are you inducting? Okay. This week I am inducting. I'm between two. Okay. Um, okay. This week. I am inducting a thing rather than a one. Okay. So I am inducting this 365 day tear off calendar called dog shaming. Dog shaming. Have you ever, I think it might've started as a Tumblr blog. Okay. um, But I think it's like a Twitter and Instagram account now. It's okay. So basically when a dog does something, the owner will write the offense down on a piece of paper and pose the piece of paper on the dog. And that's called dog shaming so like every day it's a brand new one and they'll be like really funny like you know one is like I like to eat my own poop and then kiss (gasps) my mommy in the mouth (laughs) Angela and then it's like leaning on this like French poodle that's like looking prissy and beautiful Um, like today uh, this one says I bark nonstop while my people are watching tv until they pause it until they pause it and my attention what? Oh, pay. Okay. This one says, I bark. This is today's. I bark nonstop while my people are watching TV until they pause it and pay attention to me. Then I ignore them. Heart Brian. And this is cute. <laughs> like, I don't know. What oh, is that? Brian. Is that a so cute funny. dog name? It's funny that it's Brian, though, because I inducted Brian. So everything's coming up, Brian. Oh, my gosh. It's Beshert. Okay, this (laughs) I just pulled a random one. This is a cute little dog. It says, my name is Dale. I am a ball addict. And it's a little cute dog with a ball. That one's not like um, shaming. But anyway, I really love it. Many of them I've like saved because they're so funny and they're like in the kitchen. So I can't read them to you, but I just really love it. It's like um, a bright little spot every day when I come to the office uh, to get a little chuckle. So to the creators of dog shaming, they also have a website, www.dogshaming.com. Keep, keep fighting the good fight. You yeah. are my Royal Highness this week. Wow. Anything that makes us laugh or like is like a little little bit of light in, in our days these days deserves a shout out. So, so good. I'm glad well, you told us that. Well, we did it, my queen. We have made another round in our ear holes. Oh my, I hate when you say that. I don't know why. I know, but I need a different <laughs> so- word than books. All right, okay. another round in the library. All right, another round has on come the to a- Ferris wheel. Yes, another All right. journey. All right, another journey around the Ferris wheel. Another journey around the merry-go-round. Unless we don't use it. Okay. That's true. Our, well, all right, my queen, we did it. Another round on the Ferris wheel of Review That Review. Ah, oh, that's so true. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like what you heard, please tell a friend. If you didn't like what you heard, please tell an enemy, please. If you want to lodge your own complaint, submit your own review. If you want to lodge your own complaint, submit your own review. 
like Len did, or share with the world who you would induct for my royal highness or share with the world who you would induct from my royal highness, leave us a voicemail, Hanny, at one eight five zero review 0 That's right. And you can also, if you'd like, follow us on all the socials at The Review Queens. And I'm at Chelsea BD. And I'm at Trey Gerald with two R's. And you should follow even if you don't want to. <laughs> you can also, hey, you guys, this is like really exciting you can become a member of our royal court by joining Patreon. You can become a member of our royal court by joining our Patreon account at patreon.com slash review that review. You can get access to fully unedited, all bloopers, all fumbles, uh, episode recordings, it's actually hilarious. This one in particular is going to be <laughs> radical. Um, okay. Right now, our timer is at an hour and 24 minutes. So oh my God. that's worth the uh, price of admission. You can also watch live clips from the recording terrified. sessions on YouTube. I'm like very terrified by that prospect, but I hope that you're interested because there's lots to see and I'm sure it's entertaining. Um, and maybe if you join the Patreon, maybe we will have a queen of the month. Maybe you could get a crown. Yeah, we're going to continue like bolstering up our uh, royal court. But there yes. is um, the entry, entry tier is just $5 a month. And that's sort of like a tip jar for us. Um, or you can do the royal jester, which is the uh, our platinum tier. And that involves these behind the scenes, full episodes, no editing, or full content. It's as if you're in the recording studio with us, which would probably be somewhere in Texas since I'm on the East Coast and Chelsea's on the West Coast. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm so funny. And then we also have the ace tier, which uh, in, is everything from the first two tiers but it will also include some queen Q and A's. You'll get bonus content from our upcoming segments of Queens with questions and more stuff as you guys request. And we are gonna, we're really excited to be bolstering that uh, platform. So please join us on the Royal Court. We would love to have you. And also as always, remember, ignore the haters. You're a queen. Gender non-specific queen. Obviously. Bye, y'all. Bye. Toodaloo. Toodles. Adios. See you later, alligator. Review That Review is an independent podcast. Certain names have been redacted or changed to protect the guilty. Executive produced by Trey Gerald and Chelsea Don with editing and sound design by me with Voice of Her Talents by Eva Kamensky. Our cover art was designed by Logo Vora and our theme song was written by Joe Kanozian and sung by Natalie Weiss. I forgot to add this to the soundboard, but I made yours, so I'm just going to play it. Okay. Review That Review is an independent podcast. Certain names have been redacted or changed to protect the guilty. Executive produced by Trey Gerald and Chelsea Don with editing and sound design by Trey Gerald. With voiceover talents by Ida Kaminsky, our cover art was designed by Logo Vora, and our theme song was written by Joe Kanozian and sung by Natalie Weiss. I know I can't turn the fan on when I'm wow. in here. So it's like just That's so All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.